In the year 5141 AD, 1500 years ago, people in Europe witnessed something peculiar in the sky. The sky was filled with strange-looking clouds, so thick that they blocked the sunlight. Initially, people thought these clouds would bring heavy rain, but they did something that would be remembered forever. This entire area was under the Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire, whose capital city was Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul. This peculiar scenario was happening over the sky of Constantinople. Hours turned into days, and days turned into weeks, but these strange clouds neither rained nor moved away. The issue was getting serious, and for the past few weeks, Constantinople hadn't seen a glimpse of sunlight. But this was just the beginning. Welcome you all again to my channel. I'm your host, Imtiaz Alam. Viewers, in 541 AD, Constantinople faced a serious situation. Even at that time, Constantinople had a population of a million people, and for weeks these dark clouds distressed everyone. But the situation became grievous when people started dying one by one. Healthy, active people collapsed suddenly and soon after died. Seeing this, people became anxious and fearful, feeling the world was about to end. The dark, thick cloud, strange fog and deaths were unrelenting. Snow started falling during the summer, severe enough that neither crops, animals nor birds survived. The Byzantine Emperor, Justinian, advised people to remain calm and declared that good and honest people would remain safe. This statement from the Emperor only added to the distress because the plague wasn't differentiating between good and bad people. Thousands died daily, buried in mass graves. Food shortages worsened the situation. The Byzantine royal army, although strong, was helpless because the enemy was mysteriously invisible. The entire region was affected by this plague. Wherever this dark cloud went, the strange disease spread. Far regions like Spain, France, Italy, Greece, Turkey, Morocco, Syria and Iran were affected. No one knew the actual reason for this sky-related disease. People believed it was the end of the world. Their belief grew stronger when the Byzantine Emperor himself became a victim of the disease. This plague, known as the Plague of Justinian, was the first recorded pandemic in history. This strange, two-year-long plague forced the entire continent into disarray. In fact, some regions did not see sunlight for two years, but no one knew the actual reason for this mystery. The thick dark clouds, summer snowfall, damage to crops, death of animals and birds, and people indicated something abnormal had happened. Now, 1500 years later, in 2013, scientists and experts have found the reason for this deadly sky plague. The actual cause of this disease was unknown at the time. However, modern science has revealed that the plague was spread by fleas carried by rodents, including rats and mice. When these rodents died, the fleas would jump to humans, spreading the deadly bacterium Yersinia pestis. And the second major reason for the plague that claimed the lives of 50 million people was found 5,000 kilometers away from Istanbul in Greenland. A small group of experts reached eastern Greenland to research past climates. The weather in Greenland remains extreme, making it impossible to live without professional equipment. In June and July, while many countries experience temperatures above 50 Celsius, it's minus 18 Celsius in Greenland. There is no summer in Greenland, so the ice never melts. Snowflakes capture particles present in the atmosphere, meaning if there are dust particles in the atmosphere, they will be captured and brought down by the snow. Experts believe that beneath the snow, the climate data for the past 100,000 years remains intact. Every year, Greenland's snowfall preserves itself layer by layer. Each year's layer is five centimeters thick. To analyze the climate data of 1,500 years ago, experts needed to test snow samples from 75 meters below. They started drilling and brought out 2,000 years of snow samples. The total length of the ice core was more than 100 meters, containing snow from the era of the plague of Justinian. The ice core was subjected to an electrical conductivity test, 
showing an abnormal spike of sulfur in the snowfall during the years 500 AD to 600 AD. This spike indicated that during the period when black clouds hovered over Constantinople, something strange was happening in the atmosphere. Sulfur dioxide is a very dangerous gas, equally harmful to humans, birds, animals and plants. The next task was to find out the cause of this excess sulfur in the atmosphere in the 6th century. Experts believe that only one thing could have caused this excess sulfur, a volcanic eruption. Beneath the Earth's surface, at a specific depth, extremely hot molten rocks are present. The Earth's outer layer with its pressure stops magma from escaping, but the magma keeps searching for creeks and fractures to escape. This tug of war continues until seawater reaches the magma. If seawater reaches the magma, it becomes gas due to extreme heat, and this gas, along with magma, exerts more pressure on the surface. Soon the magma, in the form of lava, blasts out from any weak point. Water and sulfur do not mix with the volcano. Instead, they are released into the atmosphere as powerful gases. Volcanic gases released during a powerful volcanic eruption can spread thousands of miles. The sulfur in the atmosphere combines with water droplets to form sulfuric acid, which can be deadly for humans. The clouds of sulfuric acids are so thick that they block sunlight. Something similar happened 1500 years ago during the plague of Justinian. It is now confirmed that it was the volcano that claimed the lives of so many people in Europe. On one hand, you have deadly bacterium Yersinia pestis, and on the other hand, sulfuric gas and sulfuric acid clouds. If the clouds rain, then it will be acid rain. Otherwise, the clouds will block the sunlight. The situation brought only destruction for humans. In 536 AD points to a major volcanic eruption, which contributed to a global climatic event known as the Late Antique Little Ice Age. The eruption likely caused widespread cooling, crop failure and darkened skies, affecting areas far from the eruption site. These events possibly exacerbated the effects of Justinian's plague in 541 AD. Which volcanic eruption caused this destruction was still unknown. After many years, experts concluded that Lake Ilopango in El Salvador, 11,700 kilometers away from Constantinople, across the ocean, was the source. When the plague of Justinian was happening in Constantinople, a dreadful volcanic eruption occurred from beneath that lake, and this mountain is its existing proof. Though the mountain looks very ordinary, it is made of volcanic ash. It was the result of that volcanic eruption, which occurred from beneath the lake 1500 years ago. Viewers at present, millions of people still live under the shadow of volcanoes. Science doesn't have the answer to when these volcanoes might erupt. One thing we are now certain about is that volcanoes thousands of kilometers away can still harm us. Volcanologists, climate researchers and geologists are continuing their research on past volcanic eruptions and the resulting destruction so that humanity can be saved from the wrath of these sleeping giants. Hope you will like and share this Unveiling Connections video. My heartfelt appreciation for your loving comments. We'll meet you in another amazing video.